Hey, what's up? David here with After Video Effects, and welcome back to part two for the building destruction tutorial. Now, in our previous tutorial, we set it up our camera tracking data, our cracks, and our main source hole with some uh, elements inside of it. So, what I did just uh, just to briefly uh, adjust some of the like the scenery. I just scaled both the hole and the cracks to about 90% just so that it fits within my building scene and I just adjusted some of the cracks inside of our comp here so I just like added some more cracks and I just like adjusted the size a bit and just a little fiddle here and there so uh, yeah and you should get something like this Alright, so we're going to create our holes here for this uh, side of the building. So, let's go ahead and grab our damage 2 layer and drag it in here. And we'll make it a 3D layer. Now, let's go ahead and grab our middle position properties and paste it to our damage photo. Alright, so we can see here we're getting something. Alright, so let's go ahead and just rotate this a little bit so that it is parallel with our building. And let's go ahead and just slide it down here. So like that, and maybe we can even just like flip it. So that it looks like it's on this side of the building because I want it to be close as possible on this side. Alright, so now that that's done, let's go ahead and just add a little bit of curves adjustment to match our color background here. So maybe just like change this to third res. And let's take away some red here. Not too much though. Maybe add a little bit of blue. Like that. And we can even just play with the alpha a bit. Just a bit. Something like that. And try to match it with your windows in our scenery here. Alright. And I don't want this little edge here, so I'm just going to mask that out here. And we'll just subtract that area. F, feather it out. Like that. And let's slide this down here. And just all the subtraction for that. And then we can just duplicate it. And just slide one more up here. Let's flip it this way so that it doesn't look like it's connected. And let's just position it like this, rotate it a little bit flatter, like that. And we want to just get these windows lined up. So, we just, so something like that. And we can just even just draw a mask around this top area. So. Let's just draw uh, like a rounded rectangular mask just about up here. And then just expand that out a bit. And we'll just delete this subtract mask. And we'll feather this one out like that. And let's just bring those back together. So we get some masking done here. Okay. So we got some destructive windows. Maybe I'll slide this one down here. Because I want some destructive windows on this one. And I'll just bring those mask 
back up. that and for this one I'll just slide it down like that looking a little better okay so now that that's done let's go ahead and add some grunge to our building here so I've got some grunge textures here I'm just going to drop it into our comp and we'll make a 3d layer and let's set the blending mode for both of these to overlay now that it will overlay with our comp Let's focus on number two first. So let's copy our right position properties to our number two grunge image. Let's scale it down and let's rotate it so that it just it a little flat with our image here like that we'll just draw a mask around this and hit F feather it out like so so it looks something like this just maybe feather out maybe about 150 like that Cool. All right, so let's scale it down even more. And let's just place some of these. Uh, maybe we'll place this one up here. And we'll just scale it down even more to maybe like 5%, or oh, maybe 8 just position it somewhere up here and just rotate it just so it matches our scene here like that and then we can duplicate it and bring this one somewhere down here and we'll just flatten it out Let me just like flip it, just position it here, scale it down, like around here, and just keep doing this for around the comp, and maybe we could push this one up here, like that. And we can grab our number seven grunge and just copy the positions to our number seven. Oh dear. Uh, and then just scale it down, scale it down, scale it down. And we can even add some grunge onto this side. So I'll just switch this to third res and just rotate it around. Maybe just a little bit of angle and just push it here and duplicate it. And we can just like push this one there, and just rotate it oh um 
give me that. I forgot to add a mask to these, so just add a mask and just like feather it out. And we'll just copy the same mask properties to our number seven. So we should get something like this. And might just scale it down the mask. Okay. So basically what you're doing is just creating creating some grunge along with our building. So maybe just one more and we'll push this one maybe on top and then we'll flip this one. Uh, like this so that it just gives some randomness like that so we're creating some grunge here and do this all around the building so I'm just going to do this quickly and I'll yeah I'll be back okay so once you've got some grunge texturing done so we can just go ahead and pre-compose all of these grunge textures well I hit the wrong key and pre-compose and we'll call this grunge textures hit okay and we'll do our collapse transformation and we'll pre-compose these pre-compose and we'll call this uh, pose left or middle and we'll do our collapse transformation. All right, so it's looking pretty good at the moment. And maybe what we can do is do a little bit of color correction. So hit Control Alt Y, Control Alt Y, and we'll call this one CC. And we'll call this one vignette so with the vignette let's just add a curse adjustment lower that down double click the mask tool and subtract it and F feather that out about 400 uh, 350 and with our color correction let's go ahead and add a curves adjustment and I'll just switch this to third res and let's go ahead and maybe add a tint and let's go ahead and add a hue and saturation wherever that is there it is so let's do the tint first let's bring this down to about 20 percent and then we'll do our hue and saturation and what I want to do is just bring some of the lightness down just a bit maybe about minus 20 that way it gets this dark vibe happening and then we'll add our curves adjustment get a bit of contrast here uh, just bring this up and then we'll go into the red channel take away some red and add in some blue so like that and just give this a little bit more contrast like that and just to top it off we're going to add a unsharp mask and this will sharpen it 
uh, especially these are uh, like beams and all this destructive pieces because uh, they're pretty sharp and we want to show um, that detail so you can't see if you can't see it and it's pretty hard to catch on screen but I'll do my best yeah like that that's uh, what we're trying to achieve I think my values were like the um, like 30 and like three for the radius I can't remember anyway so that's how it sharpens I may even just adjust this contrast a bit uh, oops and add in a bit more blue like that Okay, so that's color correction. Let's put our grunge underneath our hole and our hole's middle can stay there. Okay. All right, so let's check out a preview. All right, so the camera tracking has done a very good job of stabilizing it or and maintaining its position as I uh, as my hand moves around um, so yeah that's pretty much it for the tutorial guys uh, thank you once again um, hope you stay safe from the COVID-19 case as always my name's David I hope you learn interesting techniques that you can use for your own creations please give a like if you like this video subscribe if you want to see more and comment down below if you have any questions. And I will see you in the next video.